Brian, uh, what was Montreal doing that seemed to be giving you uh, trouble? Well, the number 11 and the number 28 were causing us problems because they were playing in behind Kellen and Albert. And we weren't able to put enough pressure higher up the field. And they were finding those little outlet passes that were able to break our press. And a lot of it, what I would say is on us. I mean, I don't think we pressed well because I think it was individual. One guy would go, then the next guy would go, and the next guy would go. What we talk about when teams are good possession teams are you have to build pressure. And it's not always the first pass or the first play or the first movement that you, you know, get a chance to collect a ball. But you have to collectively start to go, look over your shoulder, cut the passing lanes, go a little bit more, wait for this pass, squeeze, go... And I don't think we did a very good job of that. And so that allowed them to get into the game, you know, and then, you know, they hurt us on a couple of goals. They're going to say they're good goals for them, but I'm going to say that we could have done better on both of those plays. Nico, we'll stay right over here. Uh, Coach, it seemed early in the game that uh, although they were pressing high, you were going to be able to exploit them a little bit with Jordan's yeah. speed. Uh, was there a tactical change on their part, or why did that not maybe continue after the half of that first half? No, I think, I think look, we were in the game, and goals change games. And so when they scored, it gave them a little bit of life. Maybe there was a little bit of, you know, shaky nerves. Uh, Jackson did okay after that mistake. You know, that's a, that's a learning moment for that kid. You know, he's got, he's got, to, he's got to grow through those moments. And... Uh, you know, did did they take a look at the first 10 minutes and make adjustments? Maybe. But I thought as Jordan had stretched the field and we were finding little pockets of space to play through. And again, I really wasn't concerned until they scored the goal. And then again, their team kind of that little boost of confidence, momentum. And then they made things difficult for us. Moss. Brian, just going back to what you were saying, in terms of um, offense, what was missing that extra pass for you to get goal dangerous? I know about that. I mean, it, it, it's it's been a long season so far. I thought there were some moments where, again, we were a little sloppy with some of the passes that could have started a transition moment or, you know, a, a, a simple pass that should be in front of the guy, in front of the – widest guy in the field so he can face forward it's behind him so he has to go negative i mean there were lots of little technical detail details that i didn't think we were clean on tonight how did they practice all week did you see any of this come in i mean no, you know i thought the team was in a good mood i think the team was in good spirits i mean we we had up until this point a pretty good homestand so i didn't see anything in training that 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 made me think that they weren't going to be up to the task tonight. I would I would just give Montreal some credit. And, you know, if I'm reflecting on the early parts of, you know, our process, how we want to try and get better as coaching staff, I probably would have gone back and switched to three at the back a little bit sooner. I did that when Chu came on. You know, we, we brought Kellen back to left back and we matched them up. And I thought that worked. But, you know, first five, six minutes of the second half in four, two, three, one. I thought we were pressing higher up the field as a group. I thought we had some half chances. So interesting game. I'll be keen on watching a film to see where we could have done a little better. Roshan. Um, Coach, last game, obviously you guys scored that early goal against Sporting, and you kind of talked a little bit about getting complacent. Um, did you feel like that happened again, maybe in, after that early goal in the first half? No. No, not at all. The first goal came directly from a young kid making a mistake. I thought, again, we were in the game. We were finding our, you know, our, our attacking movements, how we were going to, you know, keep the lead. I think sometimes early goals can be good. Sometimes they can be bad. I thought in this game it was good for us to score early. You know, I, I don't think that there was any complacency at all. Reminder for those on Zoom, if you have a question, to go ahead and hit that raise hand function button now. We'll do a couple more in here before we go over there. We'll go to the back here if you still have a question.
Buenas noches, Diego from Perú. Eh, los últimos cinco partidos eh, dejan un balance positivo de alguna manera. De cinco partidos se ganó tres, se empató uno y se perdió uno. De 15 puntos probables solo se obtuvo 10. ¿Cuál es el balance preliminar que puede hacer eh, de estos últimos cinco partidos jugados aquí en casa? Gracias. Um, the question was, uh, during the last five games at home, uh, we have kind of like a positive uh, uh, um, uh, straight, right? I mean, we won one game, we won three games, mm -hmm. uh, draw one, and then lost one. Uh, out of the 15 points in play, 10 points. So what, what is your balance about that, those five ga last five games here at home? I just did the math, 10 points. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, we're disappointed because in MLS, you have to win your home games or you'd like to win as many home games as you can. But I think our home form has been pretty good so far this year. Uh, but if you take a season and you go in five game blocks and you go three, one and one in your in your five games, I mean, that's that's going to be good. Um, but obviously the guys are disappointed. You know, now we have to go out on the road. Hard game against Toronto, you know, tough game against Portland back here at home. So it doesn't get easy. It's it's MLS. Um. Chequeé tus matemáticas y está bien, eran 10 puntos. Eh, ahora, eh, lo, los muchachos hoy día no están contentos, ¿no? o sea, el resultado no es el resultado que estamos esperando. Um, porque en general se deben de ganar todos los partidos en casa. Sin embargo, si evaluamos la, el performance general de los últimos cinco partidos, poder conseguir 10 puntos de 15 es en realidad un, en general un balance positivo. Sin embargo, igual los chicos no están contentos, no es un resultado que esperaban. Eh, eh, y ahora hay que ir a jugar a, a Toronto y hay que, hay que tratar de conseguir un resultado y, y aprender de esto, ¿no? Ok, we'll go up to Zoom. Uh, for any questions there, Felipe, I see you have your hand raised. Go ahead and ask your question, please. Thank you, Alex. Uh, Coach Brian, so you just uh, talked about the balance of these last games in, at home. I would like to ask you about the balance in terms of players. You had a very sensitive uh, players that are injured. And then uh, what, what is your balance during this month uh, in terms of players? Well, right now, Felipe, it's challenging because we do have some important players that are out injured. But I mean, that happens. That happens in MLS, it happens in pro sports, guys get injured. I think our sports science guys do a good job of trying to keep our, our, our physios, they do a good job of trying to keep our team healthy. But things, things sometimes happen. So, you know, for, for this match against Toronto, we'll have to just see who's available and put the best team that we can out there. And then we'll have you know, a good four day lead in into the Portland game. And by that time, I think we'll have a few of the players returning to the team. That's all I see on Zoom. Are there final questions here in the room? Follow ups. Sure, Nico. Um, Coach, uh, two questions. Uh, where, first one, uh, is there any chance that Will and um, Josh might be back by the Toronto game? No. Not will. Perfect. And uh, secondly, uh, Rowe's been playing uh, in the midfield, and you've kind of said that you've been watching him and seeing how he plays. How would you assess his game today? I thought he was okay in moments. I mean, I think the whole team struggled a little bit. Uh, and Kellen, you know, I've seen him play a little bit better, but, you know, the kid works hard. I mean, he loves being here. He works every day. I can't fault him for the effort. You know, so I thought it was an okay performance. 